Hello guys. Came over for President Bola Maitinubu as Basanjo, IBB, and Adu Salami allegedly more article and Peter B as replacement. Well, we don't know how they are going to place this. Who is going to be the president? Who is going to be the vice president? I understand that there while I go take home, you get. But as things of fraud, we understand if this is really correct. Who is going to be the president? Is it Atiku? Is it Peter Ubi? Okay. Adu Haziz Nabi Abubakar dropped a powerful bombshell regarding the 2024 general election. Abubakar, who appoints to, that is Abu Bakar, who appoints to be an ally to Atiku Abubakar. And staunch member of the People's Democratic Party PDP made it known in his verified ex page that the other statesmen in Nigeria are contemplating the future of leadership in Nigeria. According to Adu Aziz Abubakar, the three former Nigerian leaders, Olushegu Abrasenjo, Ibrahim Babangida, Adu Salami Abubakar, and top military press are planning to unseat President Bola Metinubu ahead of the 2027 election. And they are already looking to the former vice president, Atiku Abubaka, to save the day. According to the Planton Post, the three powerful former leaders recently got together in Mina, the capital of Niger State, to plan how to seize control of the party. The meeting was presided over by General Ali Kosu, retired, a, a former uh, NSA, and an excellent source with access to the meetings, uh, specifies claims that the top retired generals, two main goals were to remove Mwike from control of the party structures and find an acceptable candidate to challenge Bola Metunubo, the current president. The insider suggested that our suggested to our reporter that the influential retired generals came together to map out the PDP's future because they were concerned about how the party was being governed and the possibility that never would turn into a one-party state. Previous to the 2027 election, the previous military rulers who reportedly disapproved of President Bola Tinubu's leadership style are already looking for a, res a respectable presidential candidate. Record that IBB, Obasanjo, and Bosu were the main force behind the PDP's establishment in 1998. In order to accomplish this, they have made contact with the former Senate President Dave, David Mack. It's an attempt as to unseat the FCT minister, Ally Omaru Aliu okay, Dango as PDP chairman. Okay, Damagron as PDP chairman, according to information obtained by Platoon Post. When David Mack, who is currently on vacation in the U.S., was regionally approached, he turned down the numerous responsibility of serving the PDP from extinction. So the former Senate... The former senator from Borunu and military governor of uh, uh, Niger State finally acceded to General Babangida's request, who is said to have been his longtime benefactor and godfather. So the generals at the MINA meeting want Mr. Mark to be at the end of the affairs of the PDP while they shop for the right presidential candidate that would defeat Tunubu hands down in 2027, the source stressed. It was learned that during the closed door debate, Obasanjo urged uh, support for Mr. Peter Ubi, the Labour Party 
presidential candidate in the 2023 election. Why Babangida, affectionately known as IBB, Adusalami and Gusu cheered for the former vice president Atiku Abubakar to fly the party's flag. So Nigerians, you know, I don't say the matter now. Just like waiting, I talk, you know, for that beginning when we start this a matter. You know, I don't say the Northerners will want a Northerner to be the president, just like what happened during 2023, before 2023 presidential election, when uh, they said Kwan Kwasu and Peter Obi, you know, they were, was in talk, you know, to emerge. You understand? But it did not work because Kwan Kwasu wants to be the president. Peter Obi wants to be the president. And the president supposed to come from the south. So you understand. So let's see how this matter go go again. Well, at the drop out for you, kindly drop your your comments below the comment section. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I better share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.